Hello and welcome to episode 49 of Rebuilding Chelsea on FM23. I'm Jamie and coming up on today's episode I've decided on a slight change from the advertised plan. I'm going to show you the home uh, leg of the uh, Champions League playoff against Basel. I'll then play Newcastle off camera and I'll bring you back for the away Premier League game against title rivals Liverpool. So uh, let's get straight into it. And the uh, team to face Basel is coming up in just a moment. Okay, here is the team and it is Simon in goal. Back four of Kukurea, Botman, James and Vanderson. It's Gwendouzi at the base of midfield. Fernandez and Mount ahead of him. Sterling on the left. Jean Mario on the right, Evan Nielsen up front. So let's uh, submit the team and go and find out what my assistant manager's got to say in the team talk. Okay, well he's told them to uh, forget all about the uh, first leg and approach this match with nothing less than 100% focus. And given that the lead is only 1-0, I think he's absolutely right. So uh, let's get into the uh, action and see if we can finish the job. So I'll let you uh, have the uh, Champions League music again, as I will do for all of the uh, remaining uh, knockout games. And uh, then we'll uh, we'll start the action. So uh, let's get underway. And as always, we'll see how things go in the first ten minutes, and then if necessary, we'll uh, we'll make some interventions and uh, try and change things up a little bit. But uh, ten minutes in, we've had slightly the better of it, but I think we can demand more quite safely at this point. Mm, largely it's gone down really well uh, Mount with the corner and it's headed away Kukurea picks it up plays it out to Jao Mario who crosses uh, Evan Nielsen keeps it in pulls it back into the area and it's uh, cleared by the goalkeeper Unai Simon to Botman Gwendouzi into Mount plays it through for Sterling and Raheem Sterling doesn't miss those. It is Chelsea 1, Basel 0, 2-0 on aggregate, and VAR has confirmed the uh, the goal. So Sterling's ninth of the season. And uh, approaching the half hour mark, we've got a 2-0 lead on aggregate. We shouldn't mess it up from here. Uh, Vogel to uh, Giga. Uh, Palmar takes over. Is dispossessed by Mason Mount, who's one on one with the keeper. He's been surely crunched then, but no, apparently not. Um, it's a fair challenge. The shot comes in and uh, it's over the top. So um, Mount's got to be feeling the effects of that challenge as Reese James plays the free kick in and uh, Onyek Bula heads it back to his goalkeeper who launches it long. Vanderson on the end of it though. James to Guendouzi. Jean Mario plays it over the top for Evan Nielsen and he dinks it over the onrushing keeper for his fifth goal of the season. It's 2-0 on the night, 3-0 on aggregate. We've got nine minutes to go till half time. So we should be absolutely home and hosed at this stage. Uh, Botman, Picks up the loose ball, finds Vanderson, plays it into Jean Mario, who breaks down the right hand side, checks back, finds Vanderson, infield to Mount, further into Enzo Fernandez, Guendouzi to Kukurea, who cuts it back, and Evan Nielsen with the finish. And it is Chelsea 3, Basel 0 on the night, 4 0 on aggregate, and surely now that is job done. So uh, that is just about, there is the halftime whistle, 3-0, 4-0 on aggregate. We can be well pleased with that as a first half. And uh, that's what my assistant manager has basically said. So let's go and uh, remove the three complacent players from the lineup. Uh, Vanderson needs to come off. So we'll put Jean Mario to right back. Uh, so Vanderson, 
can come off and we'll bring on Neres. Um, we will take off Genduzi and bring on Churam. In fact, no, Churam's complacent himself. Um, Gwenduzi might have to stay on, in fact. Um, Neres is the wrong choice as well. So I'm going to uh, completely change the uh, substitutions. So Vanderson is going to come off. And coming on is going to be Abde. And I think I'm going to leave it at that for now. So just the one change in the end, despite my uh, threats of mass substitutions, not going to happen this time. And uh, it is Fogel with the uh, throw in to Onyek Bula. Fogel launches it, but Botman's under it, finds Abde, plays it into Evan Nielsen. He's put it in the back of the net. I don't think there's any question of offside here. I think this is absolutely onside. And VAR says, I'm right. It is 4-0 on the night, 5-0 on aggregate. And now we can forget all about any signs of complacency. And we can just make the changes we want to make. So um, we'll just... Uh, do whatever we need to do to keep players fresh. So Mason Mount for uh, Churam. Uh, Fernandez for Simons. And should we do one more as well? Sterling, you can come off and have a rest. And we'll bring on Neres. And I'll save one substitution for the uh, closing minutes just in case uh, we pick up a knock of any uh, significance. So 20 minutes left or thereabouts, just slightly more than that actually. And uh, well in the lead, 4-0 on the night, 5 on aggregate. It's not getting messed up from here, Gwenduzi. And it ends up going wide. So big chance goes back in, but at 4-0 up, we can live with that. Evan Nielsen's got himself a hat trick and is now tiring rapidly. So I think we bring on Sesco for the last eight or nine minutes. Reese James's free kick just over the crossbar. And uh, we're into the final five minutes. 4-0 to the good on the night. The game comfortably won. And uh, there is your full-time whistle. Chelsea 4, Basel 0. 5-0 on aggregate. And we're successfully through to the next round. So uh, I'll go and play uh, Newcastle off camera. And I'll bring you back for the Liverpool game in just a moment. Okay, well, we managed a 4-1 win off camera away to Newcastle in the Premier League. And it's now time for a trip to Anfield to face title rivals Liverpool. The team for this one, Unai Simon in goal. Back four of Vandal, James, Silva and Vanderson. It's uh, Gwenduzi at the base of midfield. Simons and Churam ahead of him. Sterling on the left. Jean Mario on the right. And Benjamin Sesco up front. So let's submit the team and go and find out what my assistant manager's got to say. Okay, well, as you can see, he has decided to emphasise the credit given by the media. We've been playing well and deserve that credit. So putting on a worthy display would be lovely. So let's see if we can do that and let's get into the action. So uh, as always, first 10 minutes, we'll just see how things go. Unless anything disastrous or wonderful happens. Robertson for Liverpool on the left hand side finds Diaz who skips inside. We managed to get that first attack away but it falls to Alexander-Arnold 
and uh, he's managed to go round his man, gets the cross in, but Simon intercepts it. And the highlight comes to an end, thankfully. We're down at the other end now with Rhys James over a free kick. And he's put it wide. So uh, difficult, but um, should have probably done a little bit better than that. Venturedor to Alexander-Arnold for Liverpool into Salah, who's forced backwards to Venturedor. Into Rice, who finds Darwin Nunez. Alexander-Arnold down the uh, right wing. Pulls it back to Fabinho, but Guendouzi's taking it off him. Finds João Mario. Uh, Vanderson on the right, plays it forward. And Sesco's never getting that. Van Dijk comfortable. Robertson... Plays it back to Van Dyke. Robertson again forward to Luis Diaz. Darwin Nunez is ball over the top for Salah, who's in and scores. And it's Liverpool 1, Chelsea 0. So this was a must-not-lose game. We need to demand more. We cannot lose this. A draw, not disastrous. A win would be wonderful. A draw is not disastrous. So let's see if we can manage to get a goal. But we've given it away to Fabinho. And he's crossed it in. But Vandal uh, clears it straight at Fabinho though. And it's knocked away from Diaz. But he gets it back himself. Cuts inside. Churam wins it back. Simons to João Mario. He's given help to Robertson. And Liverpool are on the attack again. Venturedor to Salah. Back to Alexander-Arnold. Salah again. And he's done it for a second time. Mohamed Salah makes it Liverpool 2. Chelsea nil. He's come back to uh, bite his old club again. And uh, that is two goals in 11 minutes for Mo Salah. Uh, Venturedor plays it across. Silva collects. Finds João Mario over the halfway line. Plays it infield to Churam, but it's given away. Churam wins it back. Plays it in for Sterling. And the former Liverpool man returns the compliment. And uh, he scored a goal against his old club. It is Liverpool 2, Chelsea 1. So we need one more goal to really uh, put the cat amongst the pigeons. If we could get a, a second goal... Uh, that would put us well in uh, the title race again. Well, we still are. It's still in our own hands even now. Um, Sesco's in. Can't beat the keeper, but we do get a corner out of it. No, we don't because he's offside. And uh, it's Canate with the free kick. Plays it forward. And um, Sesco's won it back. Feeds Sterling. Uh, Sterling plays it back to Churam, who finds the back of the net. And that is 2-2. Two -two. So uh, we'll see the effect that has on the league table in just a moment. And it should, I think... In fact, it's left all three of us tied on 57 points. With Liverpool having played a game more than us and Arsenal. So it's not 100% in our own hands at the moment. But if we were to go on and get a winner. It would absolutely be uh, in our own hands going into the closing stages. Um, the assistant manager's happy. Um, I'm happy with the last 20 minutes of that half. Um... Benjamin Sesco is nervous and not playing that well. Um, let's bring on Makoku, the youngster. And let's also take off Silver for Doria. And I think, actually... Um, we take Sterling off and let's bring on Evan Nielsen on the left and we'll uh, leave two subs for the second half so let's see if we can uh, go on and complete what would be a famous turnaround away at Anfield 
we've done really well to uh, to get it back from two down so let's um, encourage the boys rather than firing them up at this stage um, Vanderson I think needs to come off due to fitness um, but we don't have a right back on the bench so that's a slight problem um, if we've got a centre back we could move Rhys James across we do, we've got uh, Levi Colwell who can play centre back so uh, once that uh, change is made we'll shift them around uh, Van Dijk to Venturedor uh, Vanderson's won it back. João Mario to Vanderson again. Um, Churam picks up the forward ball, plays it back to Vanderson. He needs to get the cross in. He has. It's headed away. Falls to Guendouzi, who feeds João Mario. Canate is beaten, and uh, but he gets back to make the block, and we'll get a corner. So we'll make the uh, switch after this corner. Rhys James with the ball in and it's uh, headed behind. So uh, Colwell will move to centre back and he can play, yeah, left centre back suits him. So that's fine. And that leaves me one more change to try to force the issue. João Mario needs to come off and I'll bring on Abde I was going to bring Mathis Tell on for a uh, a stint but uh, injuries have prevented that Evan Nielsen on the left hand side plays it out to Vandal who plays it to Evan Nielsen again he's crossed it for Makoku and he shoots wide so let's um, encourage the lads again. Alexander Arnold back to Kanate. Bashatic. Churam has the uh, the ball. Comes forward, finds Abde. He plays it into Evan Nielsen. The ball's ended up in the back of the net. And there is a question mark over offside. I'm genuinely not sure on this one. The goal's given. We lead 3-2. So at this point, we're going to go attacking. There's less than five minutes left. And as you can see, as it stands, we go into uh, the next match, top of the Premier League. So uh, there it is, Liverpool 2, Chelsea 3. I'll be back in a moment to confirm that league table and tell you what's coming up on the next episode. Okay, here it is then. Confirmation that with 27 games gone, we are top of the Premier League. 18 wins, 5 draws, 4 defeats, 59 points on the board. Two clear of Arsenal, who have also played 27. And three clear of Liverpool, who've played 28. So uh, let's have a look at when we're going to come back. And uh, at the moment... I don't know who we've got in the Champions League round of 16. So um, I will probably show you both legs of that. But if not, I'll show you the second leg and the game against Everton. So uh, if you've enjoyed that, please leave a nice thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for Monday to Friday Football Manager videos. Thank you very much indeed for watching and goodbye.